All right, guys, as you can see from the thumbnail, we did a little shopping today. And what we did is went to this new Funko store in, um, in our town of Auburn, Washington. Um, what we did is took some Funkos that we weren't collecting anymore and, you know, just thought we would trade them in and see what we could get for some credit on that um, or even cash. But we went with the store credit and, uh, you know, we got a couple goodies here and uh, we're ready to show them off to you guys. So here's the first item. <music> I'm actually gonna let Fabi do the honors. You wanna take the first item? It's something that she's always been wanting and we finally found one and it's pretty exciting. So what did you get? This one I got, the Chester Cheetah, Target exclusive and it glows in the dark. So it's pretty cool. We uh, paid $25 for it. It's got a PPG value of 24. Um, but you know what whatever it's a it's a cool pop and it's one that we've been looking for for a while But this one's actually glowing in the dark. So I don't know if she even knew about this one per se All right, so there's that and then we also picked up a couple of these mystery boxes um, We got five of them. They were priced at $12.95 each and um, We're gonna open these up and show you guys what we got so I'm gonna do the honors of the first one here uh, let's see you know what we might need a knife for this one we'll be right back all right so we got a screwdriver here we're just gonna go ahead and pop open the box like so oh man all right, so we got the knife cut away from yourself, not towards, okay? So, and cut it open like so, without damaging the Funko. All right, so the first item we got is a San Francisco 49ers George Kittle. So, we're not Niners fans around here, but you know what? That's a cool little Funko Pop. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We'll, we'll take it, right? We may not do anything with it. Maybe probably sell it or, you know, in the future do some giveaways or something. Um, but Fabi's going to go ahead and open up the next one. All right. Fabi's got the next box. Let's see what she gets. Unlock the con, you guys. Uh, you guys are killing us with the tape, but you know what? I think that's perfect. Um, makes the suspense a little bit more. I will tell you a little bit more about our experience with this store um, after we're done uh, making this video. And um, I feel like I'm gonna cut myself. <laughs> we'll tell you guys a little bit more about our our experience there. So you struggling there? Oh, here. You got it? There you go. All right, so after the struggle. All right, so we went ahead and just pre-cut everything here and just make the process a little bit easier. So Fabi's got her box. Let's see who she got. You struggle in there? I don't want to look. I'm nervous. Oh my god, let's see what she got. This is a cool one. Okay, what'd you get? Show yeah. everybody. This is really cool, actually. Wow. We got a Robin. She got a Robin, and this is the older DC box. Um, wow, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's crazy. This is a cool one. That's pretty cool, yeah. He ha actually has um, like a samurai outfit. So it's like... Um, okay. Like, I think it's a, like a Chinese New Year kind of special box because it's red and it has... Uh, the letters on the back. 
that's a pretty cool pop. So yeah. what we're gonna do at the end of all of this is share our experience with you guys on going to the shop. Um, and then also we're gonna put the PPGs right there in the, um, here in the video as well. So we'll go back through, show you each pop and uh, put those PPGs. Now, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and knock out the last three. So fingers crossed we get a good one. There is a chance to get a diamond. Um, a diamond charmander so that'd be cool to have because we're both charmander fans and mm -hmm. that's how we're starting pokemon so fingers crossed wish us luck guys all right so the next one here we got three more mystery boxes all right so here we are i'm gonna take this one here let's see what we got all right so we got oh. a marvel character Let's see here. And these all come in Funko Pop protectors. Um, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Wow, we got a Pop in the Box exclusive. Iron, Iron Heart. Look at that thing. Iron Heart, we got Iron Heart. A Pop in a Box exclusive. Wow, I didn't even know this existed. So this might be one of those really good ones. Um, but look at that thing. That's cool. I'm liking that. Yeah. This might be one that we keep. Yeah. Um, so, so far, I unboxed the George Kittle. Fabi unboxed. The Robin. The Robin. And then I got the Iron Heart. All right. So let's see what else we get. All right. Two more boxes to go. Fabi is going to take her pick on which one she would like to go with. And uh, here we go. Let's see. I'll go with this one. All right. Let's see what you got. I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be. I think these are pretty cool, though. We might have to do these a little bit more often. Okay. What'd you get? Oh, this is Show awesome. it off. Show it off. It's a Mickey Mouse. Whoa, what exclusive is that? It's a Mickey Mouse, the true original Funko Shop.com limited edition. Whoa. So it's an original Mickey Mouse. Like Show that off. Whoa, whoa, I've seen that one before. Yeah. Wow. So it's number one out of the series. So this is Mickey, the true original, 90 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That look at that on the back of the box, it does not even show this one. Yeah. There has to be some kind of value to this. Wow. Uh, this is awesome. That is pretty cool. Okay. Well, one last box. I think we got some good hits. I'm gonna do this last one and we'll see what we got. All right, babe. If you do the honors and handing me that, this last one right here. Let's hope this is something good. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> we just landed the LeBron James Amazon exclusive. These freaking <laughs> boxes are legit. I'm gonna just beast mode this thing real quick. Get that thing out of here. Look at that. The LeBron James Amazon exclusive. Holy crap. That's awesome. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh my God, the Amazon exclusive. I gotta admit, we got some pretty freaking good hits here today. So, look at all those. Look at all that, man. This is crazy. This is like by far one of the most craziest unboxings I've done. And I mean, if you guys know me on my channel, The Anime Vlogs, I've done some cool unboxings, but nothing like this. Like this caliber of unboxings are insane. Like I, I just, I can't believe what we pulled. And we're not like yeah. huge on collecting Funkos, but we wanted to test our luck because we do love Funkos. It's a thing that we love to do is, you know, go and look for them. And, and we do like the clip, but not in that standard of like a Wasage Pops or a Top Pops. Um, but man, I can't believe this. We're definitely going to be buying some more of these. Unlock the con. You guys outdid yourself. Really Babe, what do you think? Um, 
I wasn't expecting, because I know like a lot of people when they do unboxing, they get like decent pops, you know, it's it's kind of rare that you get rare pops, but like, these are not really rare, but still like, they're still cool pops, I think. And especially because I was actually looking at this one today at the store. Um, I already have the Sylvester and Tweety, actually. So this one, I think, just kind of did it for me. And throughout the years, my brother and I, he um, he would buy the Funkos. That's who got me really started in on Funko. Uh, my brother is because he would go to uh, we would go to GameStop during the holiday times and buy the the mystery boxes, and that would be like my Christmas gift to him every year. Um, just buying them because you don't know what you get, but you're really hoping to get that chase, right? Um, but with that, I mean, this year, this past year, we bought um, we bought the. Um, GameStop venomized one, so we got the full case on that. But uh, yeah, this is crazy. Now, real quick, I just want to take a quick moment from this video. Um, right here, my buddy Kyle actually did a podcast with uh, with them, so I'll have the link down in the description below of his podcast with Lonnie from Unlock the Con. Uh, but we chatted with uh, Chris and um, Barry today. Great guys. The store, because we went to the Funko um, headquarters in Everett, um, and that will be in the description down below as well. Um, but we went to the headquarters. This store outdoes that headquarters by a lot because these. What, what sets them apart is the fact that, yes, Funko has like the exclusives and things like that that they put out, the new items. But Unlock the Con has the grails, the hard to find ones that you cannot find anywhere else. Babe, like, what, what do you think? How did you feel when you walked into that store? Um, like, when you walk in, it's just, you don't know where to start. Um, but I think it's really cool that they have, like, pops in their each category. So if you're looking for a certain category or you want a certain pop, um, it's easy for you to look for them. You know, it's not just scattered all over the place. And, um, yeah, but they have amazing stuff. So if you ever have the chance, you guys should go check it out for sure. And again, and it's in the Outlet Collection in Auburn, Washington. You know, when I walked in there, I've been to like local mom and pop stores around the area, ranging from video games to collectibles. And I've dealt with some asshole of owners and things like that. But Chris... Chris and uh, Barry. Barry's the owner. His wife, Ashley, is a co-owner. And Chris, phenomenal employee. Uh, get that man a raise. But, uh, you know, their, their hospitality just was there. And yeah. we will definitely be going back. And we hope for the success in their business and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of the biggest Funko selections I've seen um, in this general area. And, again, we'll be back. Um, do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah. I'm just... I'm kind of shocked. Like, they're pretty good, like, pops that we got. And hopefully they, the PBG is kind of high. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I At the end of the day, I think they're still cool. And they're still, like, a cool add to our collection. Mm -hmm. um, These mystery boxes, uh, great gifts for family members. If you have somebody in the, in the family that loves collecting Funko. Um, gives me general ideas. But I'll definitely be back for more. I mean, $12.95, you can't beat that. Yeah. Um, I mean, we don't collect to sell, so I mean, there may be something that we will hold on to just because of you know how cool it is to yeah. us, or even the PPG. We may, yeah. you know, we may even find people out there that want to trade. So, mm -hmm. well, let's get you guys those PPGs and uh, go from there. All right, so our Robin um, is actually going to be an eight dollar Funko Pop in value. All right, perfect. And then we have our George Kittle. This one was actually worth $23, so we did get a little bit of a value there. The Mickey Mouse is actually only $17, but hey, still made a little bit of value there. But you know what? That's a really cool Funko if you ask me. Now our next one going to be here, the Iron Heart. This was um, the second lowest out of all of them. This one was worth only ten dollars, um, even though it's a box or a pop in a box exclusive. All right, and then last but not least is going to be our LeBron James Amazon exclusive. This was actually a twenty-eight dollar Funko Pop value. So, all in all, we're really happy with these. Um, 
I can't complain. I'm really happy with these. So there you go. You have the value of them. And I'm not sure if they have those online. I'll put the link to their website down below as well. Um, any last words, babe, before we end this video? No. Pretty pretty cool pop plates there. Um, I just, yeah. No, pretty cool. Pretty good boxes, actually. I, I'd go buy more, actually. For sure. For $12.95, you can't beat that. It's, it's a risk. It's a gamble, but it's a safe gamble instead of going to a casino or playing the lottery tickets. Oh. My guilty pleasure and fabby sometimes, but we're not encouraging that. Gamble responsibly. Um, and this is a, like I said, it's a safe way of gambling. Mm -hmm. um, but with that being said, thanks for tuning in. If you guys like what you've seen, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, it helps out and lock the con as well. And uh, it helps us out with the algorithm and and things like that. So until then, more videos to come. Take care.